Welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. What is left will suffice to deal with you. We'll see about that, dealer. We're back in story mode. And specifically for the Queen of Scales. Luck is going to be a lot harder this time. And I'm not starting with a fate that's going to make it particularly easy. Ooh, bad fortune will compound and lost in swamp is meant to make us lose our way. The great dragon queens of the lizard people are the fiercest warlords and generals. My equipment and encounter decks are set. I have removed a couple base couple maces and hammers. And added uh, more equipment that I haven't seen yet. Same with encounters. And our fate is the Merchant Guard. This, this is the next fate that the thread voted on to try for story mode. And you might see it's all about being able to buy things at shops more easily. Being ambushed at shops more easily. And being forced on a certain route. If you get good equipment, it might work out well. And we'll see if we can make that work to our advantage. Let's jump right in. You will find very little success in the Queen's domain. Even fate itself turns against you here. And already, the sun seems to set in the background. The thunder is rumbling. Lightning strikes. The showdown with the dealer is getting closer and closer. These steps you take, none have taken before. Do you appreciate what I have built? Do you understand the elegance of the systems I have forged? With that, Innocence is a good shield to start with. I like having certain encounters revealed. It served me well. As pleases you. Eh, I could take this or leave it. Let's move on. I'm surprised to find the recollection of a closed marketplace amongst your treasured memories. Why not try to get food? Hopefully, we don't need as much gold. Choose from these options. I'm sure you are grateful for that. That was pretty poor. And you can see already, luck is getting more and more difficult. Of course, it's inhabited. These three options do different things. We could try to hide in the cave, and there is a small chance we would get the token from it and we would be undisturbed. Boldly entering the cave is more dangerous, but should get us the token and leaving. Well, not the best outcome. I just want to get this out of the way. Slightly new background here. It is definitely fired up. A good result. I can't help but think that our adventurer only knows how to bash heads in with his mace. Or his axe. But that there is a fantastic little result. Look at that. 
Though the king is dead and his kingdom in ruins, the prince still wonders the world of shadows and believes that he rules there. Yeah, well, I want your stuff. I am sorry. Worth a try. All who have sat at this table have searched for the spirits at one point or another. You rather less than most. Twilight Ritual is the next ritual in the Druid's quest. It is, in fact, more of the same. We will defend them. And we will have to kill some stuff. The natural enemy of magic, our Jack of Scales. Fortunately, minus the swamp encounter. thing that I'm I guess mixed I have mixed feelings about this when you reflect a ranged attack it will go back straight to whoever sent it now that's not so bad but there are times when I wish the fireball was reflected to someone else I could have hit the jack of scales already as it stands though not really the case. Still, I can't complain too much because just because I uh, couldn't reflect an attack back to the Jack of Scales if somebody else sent it first, like the fireball, well, that doesn't mean it's useless. I would much rather hit a ranged attacker than not. We're still not done. Not the best fight in the world, but still fine. We're still alive. Looking forward to it. I have sat where you sit now. The game, though. The game is very different. I doubt even I would have reached this point. Interesting. Well, Lost in Swamp is somewhere we'll definitely not want to go. Before we continue, one thing I didn't show off. Special helmet from this fate. The Merchant's Guard Helm also gives a bonus to gold gain from selling an item if I kill bandits camped at shops. So it's not just a bonus for buying. Oh, hello, Devil's Wager. Let's give you a shot.
notice this? This is a good example of uh, being able to take a hit in this encounter, like I mentioned earlier. He expected us to simply die. I took some chip damage from poison in the fight. Poison and one spear. Two health. But I'm not dead. And this encounter is successful. The pendulum can swing both ways. Ah, mercenary contract. Excellent. That'll work very well with this fate. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. However, we don't want to go beyond. Holy Forge is useless without the metal ore. It's just there to taunt us. But if I leave this level with ambushes unencountered, I could be in bad sorts. Of course it is. And the mages are back. Only three though. We can deal with them. Those balls are really hard to dodge. I try, and I manage sometimes, but sometimes one of the stray balls just ends up hurting you anyhow. Oh, you got really close. And as much as there are traps here, this is not the best map to be fighting mages in. I mean, granted, it's not like they could do too much damage because it's wide, but they don't like to wander as fast as other monsters do. Fantastic. Show us your deals. All right. Thunderstrike. Not bad. Frostfang. Frostfang is good if we're going against Lizardmen. Immediate buy. You think that will help you? Goblin King Crown. We haven't encountered yet. It is appropriately linked to traps. I don't care about the Mask of Extortion. We're sticking with our mask, uh, with our help. And this food is incredibly cheap, so with any luck, this food will serve us all the way to the end. Maybe not. But we're in good shape. Roaming ever forward. Hunting for the truth. Once, many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else but their problems, with any other issue than the thing on their mind today. Is that what you're doing now? I think we've heard that line from you. Curse luck is uh, 300 gold to remove. I don't think we could realistically get to that. No ambush, which is good. We are set in so much. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time.
with enough food in our bag, I think we can afford to give this a, a shot. Ooh. Very nice indeed. Guardian Angel is an amazing blessing. And we are truly, <laughs> well, blessed to have found it this run. It is a lifeline for all chance events. You're never guaranteed to get a good result. But the ability to look at a bad result and say, I don't want that, is invaluable. Many and of these blessings more gold. Good for the likes of you. Win this and claim my token. Let's see if we can uh, get some more gold bid. Sorry, some more health bid. Now we'll see what the blessing gives us. We were extremely lucky. But if we really wanted, we could put it back and try again. If you're even luckier, you'll get that blessing at the beginning of a run. That has happened to me multiple times. It was beautiful. Violence and destruction everywhere. Is this the way the world is now? Food wagon we got recently. It's a very nice little card. You could steal or just carry on, but calling out and offer help is very simple. You'll get something. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Nice, easy little gain. A voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. One mage on the left. This is where it ends, or at least this is where the conclusion begins. As much as any game can truly end, your final challenge awaits you now. That was quick. A challenge for you. And a token if you succeed. I think it's time to start using the mercenary contract. It's simple. Hit things, get gold. And this even works when they're prone. And even though we're getting hit, I don't care. Because I'm getting gold. It lasts quite a time. Ah! 
and already we're back up to 63 gold. Seriously. Fantastic little card. And we're one step further in what remains of our DLC quest. No, not yet. We still have some things to do here. First, let's sell our blood. But you know what? We're okay. I don't mind too much. We play for a token now. We have to keep going down into the underworld to try and defeat more and more enemies before this quest line is truly finished. And I'll speed this up, but let's try to get something going here. First, that guy right here. Ah. That was the one that got killed. Never mind. I can't see the one that might have gold. So, it's time. Time to make money. One interesting little interaction here that I did not know is that apparently mercenary contract does not work on all enemies. These hell beasts must not carry any gold on them whatsoever. That's a shame. So let's just get through this. More to go. Again, a token is at stake. This is our merchant guard fate encounter. First in the line. We dealt with goblins before. This is not the official goblin encounter. But let's see if I can get some money out of them. Thankfully, our blessing is making real short work of them. One's down. They're giving me so much gold from the uh, mercenary contract. And I don't care about getting hit. I got gold back and more. Let's question some more. I want to know more here. That's a great example of why that blessing is fantastic. Still a lot of luck, but a little luck is better than nothing. And it also nets us the token. But I didn't notice this last time. Descent into the underworld is still active. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. 
how far can we go? went down. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. a lot harder had Wrath of the Old Gods not been there to take out the Lava Golem first thing. That was an incredible stroke of luck. Despite the curses piling on us, this dungeon is proving to be quite conquerable. Still have enough food. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Shame to see a piece that has been vanquished yet refuses to leave the board. The Chizen Lava Golems, let's see. Fantastic. Wrath of the Old Gods took that Lich out of commission. Which is good, because I really didn't want to have to deal with ranged attacks. This wasn't my first attempt at the fight, and in all cases, the Lich was actually a lot more dangerous than in previous runs uh, where I encountered it for the first time. That ranged attack can come at you pretty fast and is not insignificant in how much damage it causes. It causes. Then, you have to then you have to dodge the Lava Golems constantly trying to hurt you and you can see that their uh, attack radius is pretty big. Really, I really need to dodge quite a bit here and use my weapon ability like mad. Seriously, even though Frostfang's ability is not as good as Feathered Ice, at least it is unlimited. See? I just wish there were actually friendly fire for what the lava golems are doing. If you didn't have an ability like that of the Frost Fang, you would probably have a much harder time controlling the battlefield to your advantage. If the Lich was still alive, you could probably die quite a bit. It's not impossible. I am dodging out of the way. But it would be much slower. 
Good, that's one down. That's two down. And three does it. But was that enough? Yes, it was. Thank goodness. Or thank the old gods, depending on how you look at it. That nets us a nice little achievement. Barely enough left to feed a mouse. At this rate, you may end up as food for them. actually more expensive than normal. What gives? All right, let's give ourselves some items. The hag wraps are back. I like the hag wraps. Interesting choice. Dragon ring. I bought it last time, but it's useless. This time we'll actually give Damocles a fair shot. I'm sure you will. This thing I have created, I can hardly bear the sight of it now. I've worked my way through its many convolutions so many times, run through these conversations in my mind over and over again, wondered how it all ends. Will I ever know the truth? I swear I didn't pick that one on purpose. A choice. Select your desire. Nice. Mage's mask mage we haven't yet seen yet. Be used against them. Twenty percent chance of creating a mage shield around you if you get hit is not bad at all. But if the name of the game is not getting hit, really, is that what you're going to do? Then you want to avoid it. We are all at the mercy of the whims of the mighty, are we not? This is a simple combat. We unlocked this card recently as well. The Jack of Skulls returns to the fray. Would you expect any less? Let me show off Damocles briefly. Damocles is simple. It throws off knives in the eight cardinal direction, which is uh, pretty useful if you're surrounded because it will tend to stagger enemies. However, it's useful here, but I'm still gonna keep it unless I somehow find a better artifact later. You know the drill. Let's just cut to the end. Ah! 
The combat wasn't too bad. The skeletons kept reviving a little bit more than I would have liked them to. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. But the gains on this card are quite significant. One more ambush. Lightning Crash is an artifact we haven't had a chance to use yet. Just appeared in the deck. Mage Strike looks like a far less powerful of it, version of it. Time heals could be good, but you know what? I think I prefer lightning. Lightning is a very powerful element. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, nothing really resists it. What will you do with that? In fact, here's a bunch of equipment we don't need anymore. I don't think I want Damocles. Pop up for good measure. Sure you are grateful for that. And let's see what the other shop has. In fact, we might want to pass by it on the way back. And for good measure, let's see what we've got down here. A swamp? No. The white minotaur. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. The white minotaur escaped from the maze. I would feel worse, but that's kind of what you get when you try to trap us. That mace. There's a part of me that was getting ready to speed up this fight and to talk about how the white minotaur helps you unlock a special weapon and in subsequent runs defeating the white minotaur uh, since you already have the token, just lets you uh, get the weapon during the run. But uh, it's th that is a fantastic interaction between uh, Will of the Gods. I got the blessing name wrong earlier. There is only one enemy on the map, so of course it would die instantly. You don't see me complaining. Goblins. I do love goblins. Truly, I haven't seen their like in years. Excellent.
seriously, that blessing is just the gift that keeps on giving. An expedition. Press on. Beautiful. She's out there now, waiting for you. I think we'll go up here, come back around, and finish off with the Queen of Scales last. I'll go ahead and uh, rack up some gold in the meantime. This is an interesting little tidbit. Uh, the mazes can sometimes have different layouts. No. And, sorry, not different layouts. Uh, different... How do, I, how do I put this? Different settings. This is a forest dungeon. I saw the ladder right there. But I do want more. You can already see it's uh, a marginally deadlier dungeon. The traps are harder to deal with. They have very specific patterns. And yes, those are traps in those bushes right there. I wouldn't walk in there if I were you. You can see that the leaves hide traps a lot better. Very frustrating. And the camera doesn't always cooperate. See? Like that. This one is a little bit more innocuous, but this... Definitely, definitely a trap. Forest mazes are... a little bit harder than the dungeon mazes, in my opinion. But besides that, we don't really need any of these. But we'll take Mage Strike to sell later. As long as we don't lose any of that gold, uh, we are very ready to buy. In fact, take all my food. Take all of it. We don't even need the mace. But here we've got some good cards that we could unlock. Wandering minstrels I've been wanting to deal with. And I have enough gold this time. We have lost so much, you and I. Yet even to this day, these minstrels play on tirelessly. Gods look upon you favorably. Half our gold is a lot of gold, but you know what? It's worth it. 22 gold was the threshold. We are way over that. And we have a token. Will you make the same choices as you did before? I don't need equipment right now. No thanks.
we can also buy blessings right now. And we don't really need much. None of these blessings are actually useful for us. We don't have enough to remove the curse. Buy food. Why not? I feel overloaded by that gold. Let's press on. Granted, I didn't really need to sell all these things. But I'm prepping just in case something ahead happens to take my resources. Lost. Without a clue. This is a chance to learn how valuable your equipment can be in the right circumstances. We get to see one Lost in Swamp before reaching the Queen, though. No matter what we do, we have a Swamp to deal with. But let's see if the figure is anything worth going to. Our gold, although I have way more than I need, is extremely useful. Refusing help will uh, let you wander around the swamp and uh, try your hand at a little bit of luck. Food is good. Gold is good. Since we have both, let's be nice. Now imagine if you did that multiple times. There's a token in it for you if you win. We have enough blessings and we do want to try to unlock more stuff. Arcane Knowledge and Guardian Angel. Ah, uh, Guardian Angel is one that would have been nice to have, maybe for the last encounter on the map. Now this is my kind of magic. Death and the transmutation of energy. While I love the hag's wraps, for the sake of the LP, let's wear the mage glove. Are you sure that's the right approach? It'll make life a little bit harder. Nothing speaks truth like blood. Win this and claim my token. Now we could refuse to give blood or offer our blood. Refusing to give blood leads to a choice the result of which depends on whether we have gauntlets on, which we do. But offering our blood is what will let us uh, get the card's token. There's a little bit of pain. Nasty. Nothing major. Useful. Would have been useful a little earlier on. But at the very least, we got through this. How interesting. High tier attacks heal the wielder, and you get to drain health. The Elden King sword is a very nice sword. Look at the damage. Kind of on tier with the Rat Cleaver. High tier attacks would be the combo attacks, unless you had Warcry. In which case, you could keep using Warcry and Skeleton King Sword would presumably keep healing you. But our Frost Fang is quite likely the best bet here. A Queen of Power and Grace. A 
challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Ah, the token bugged out again. Oh well. What it says about the totem is interesting. If you've noticed, there's a pattern with all other queens in the deck. The queens all come with an extra little thing by their side to help them. Ratman had the plague totem. Dust had that uh, arbalest. Skulls had a totem to revive Belton's or to bring them up. Oh, well, that, that got rid of him. And she has a totem which prevents her uh, lizard men here from being hurt by the flamethrower attacks. Now, she can spit a fireball at you, or she can breathe a storm of fire in front of her. And that storm of fire cannot hurt her offspring as long as this totem is active. So let's take care of the totem. In fact, while we're at it, we can just go ahead and use Lightning Crash, and with that, the totem has been taken care of. And her little buddies are dead. The last queen is down for the count. You have destroyed something priceless, my friend. Do you ever wonder if your fell hand and the damage it causes are worthwhile? Petty treasures retrieved from death and disaster. A very good session. The merchant guard has delivered. One little note here. The tavern is a very interesting encounter card, and I've been looking forward to it, as it's one of the post-game cards that leads to the dragon equipment. This is the point at which you can start working towards it. We come close to an end for all things. All the queens are down. And next up is the King of Plague. See you next time on Let's Play Hand of Fate.
dead in the lands of the lizard men.